Welcome to the Fresno Football Club Match Day pregame show. This program is sponsored by Tioga Sequoia Brewing Company. Hello and welcome to Fresno FC Match Day, the Fox's official pregame show. I'm Nick King. An opportunity missed for Los Zoros, losing 1-0 at Colorado Springs Switchbacks FC Saturday. Fox has had opportunities early for goals, but could not seize the momentum. And even when it looked like surely the match would finish in a scoreless draw, the home team scores in the closing minutes on a free kick that bounced off the FFC wall. Here's a look now at the key moments. It really hasn't been there for Fresno, but they are a dangerous offensive team if you let them be as we get underway here at Widener Field. Switchbacks FC wearing their home blacks with the words collected by Barrera. He'll play this one forward. Hayden coming off of his back line to come get involved offensively, and that pass was tipped out of play to Josh Suggs. Nearly caught a boot in the face from Ellis Hayden. Now Suggs dribbling to the end line, sends it across. Shane Malcolm is there. Malcolm holds. Now I'll try to take a shot. It was blocked. Shane's got it back. Plays it up to Schweitzer. Chips it in and just wide. So free kick here for Fresno FC. This one sent far post, headed to the middle. And this one just going out of any time as we take a look here at the Fat Boys Pizza Replay. It was a great leap from Jamal Jack, just unable to get on the end of it. That ball deliciously played right across, finds its way to Cheney here. Look at that, Ole. Hamilton to Hanlon. Hanlon to the near side for Suggs. He'll chip that one going far post and Cochran able to come out and play it immediately. Boots it down. All of the USL is kind of coalescing around uh, Louisville City now that they are the lone USL representative still in America's domestic tournament as we get. Sends this one downfield, looking far side, headed by Fresno. Ball goes right to Jordan Bird. Bird thought about the shot. Instead, he gives it off to Malcolm. Shane Malcolm pressing forward. He'll take a shot in that one. Just over the cross. Whistled right over the bar. Jordan Burt thought about it. Fat Boys pizza replay. Shane Malcolm, I'll take that. Thank you very much. Screams that ball toward goal. That ball's knuckling all over. And here's to hoping that uh, this free kickoff uh, as that one looked pretty good. I was going to say. Suggs, Malcolm, Schweitzer. One from the left, one from the right, one right down the middle. Here comes Malcolm. Takes a shot. Scores! Shane Malcolm off the free kick! Put Switchbacks FC on top 1-0, no less than the home side. The thing that Cochran can do, look at this from Shane Malcolm, USL goal of the week candidate. Pick that one out, Cochran. One to nothing. Colorado Springs Switchbacks FC. Tucked it up in the upper 90. You can't put chip back to Stuart Seus. Seus sends this one downfield. Headed away by Fresno. And that will do it. Amadou Dia. Jason Johnson! You've got to be kidding me! An otherworldly goal from JJ! Desmond fine tuning just outside the 18. FC Cincinnati 2-2-2 two, two, and two at home. Here the young season and a golazo from Manu Ledesma who strikes it from the near touchline and buries it in the net. Deleuze has Lomas available looking for Lomas. Oh! Uh, popped up for Cheney and Johnson! Jamal Johnson does it again! Interrupted and intercepted by Hatchaw though. Wampe finds it. 
Moves back to his right, bombs it out in front, and a goal! What a shot by Mutaya Mwape. Face out there. Ejev, nice ball into the area. On the assets, great save for Strepo. Save of the match. Stanley with a left foot, headed on Sparrow again. Wow, what Connor, a save. Connor Sparrow with one hand. Will play on as by contact in the box. Sacramento maintains the possession shot from distance. And Cochran with a save of the weak candidate with that brilliant effort. My goodness. Cortez. Oh, it's not a bad effort at all. And maybe it's Zerda with a sprawling save to keep it a two goal game. Daly. Alvarez, the biggest save of his debut. Reminder, we want to make your fandom of Fresno FC a part of this show. We're searching social media for those hashtags, Somos Zoros, Built for Fresno, and We Are Foxes. We'll be using these kinds of pictures and videos heading into each commercial break. The Fresno Football Club Match Day pregame show. We'll be right back after these short messages. Welcome back to the Fresno Football Club Match Day pregame show. This program is sponsored by Tioga Sequoia Brewing Company. All right, time to meet another one of the Foxes. We got Zach Ellis Hayden with us. Zach uh, grew up in Canada. Yeah. Been in the United States for about six, seven years now. But if we go back to your childhood, what are your earliest soccer memories? Wow. Um, well, I grew up playing for my hometown, Kitchener, Ontario kind of playing pickup, that type of thing, just that's where I developed like a love and a passion and where I like expressed myself on the field type thing. What was the soccer culture like in that, in Ontario there where you grew up? To be honest, there's a lot of, a lot of like um, minorities, like immigrants from like Saudi Arabia, like Africans, and then, you know, that type of, uh, you know, group of people where they just kind of played soccer for fun on the street type thing and uh, Kitchener isn't known for that like but it's just funny how that happened and then I kind of grew up with a group of people like that where we just played on kind of every open field available and then got kicked off of a few fields of course but kind of just playing like pickup that type of thing along with my uh, my club soccer so just playing club soccer plus playing on the fields where like everyone else was playing street soccer just kind of help me develop and play like as much as possible pretty much. What do you see as being major differences between living in the United States and living in Canada? People tell me that Canadians are a lot politer and nicer. I see it sometimes, depends on where I'm at, but like the difference between here, for example, in Canada, like huge difference is the weather. Like right now is so hot and I'm not used to anything like this. I mean, I lived in Orlando, but even still, it's like steaming hot here. And, but to be fair, I like it compared to the cold. I'm not a big fan of the snow and stuff. So the weather, uh, slight differences in food, but not like major, major differences, you know, from where I grew up and stuff. If we're talking about food, what's your favorite kind of meal? I eat everything, but I like uh, Caribbean food. So I would say oxtail 
I don't know if that's something you ever heard of. I'm familiar. I don't know if I've actually eaten it, but I've, had, oh, yeah? I've heard of it. No, oxtail is amazing. I think that is my favorite type of like dish, like oxtail, rice and beans, and like you know plantains, that type of thing. That is my for sure my favorite meal. Was that something you grew up eating, or you discovered later in life? Yeah, because my grandparents were like from Jamaica, okay. and my mom was, you know, obviously her parents born in Jamaica. She was born in England herself, but. She grew up cooking that type of food. My grandma and grandpa cooked that type of food quite a bit when I was growing up. So I just grew up eating quite a bit of Caribbean food and oxtails out of like those dishes is my favorite by far. You guys have a lot of players on this team who have a lot of diverse backgrounds, come from all over the world. Who do you find to be especially interesting, their, their backstory? A lot of people, because we have a team full of diverse people, you know, like Americans, English people, JJ, Kafa, I think is interesting. Like all these people from different backgrounds and different like paths to get where they are, to get where we are, is just really interesting to me. So like even myself, I think could be interesting to someone else, but I just think all of us as a collective coming from different parts of the world and like different routes to get here. Some went through school, some like, this is their first year pro, like all of that stuff put together is just like, it's interesting no matter what team you're at, I think. Do you guys ever acknowledge that that's interesting or is it just sort of a given that we're on a professional sports team and that's just kind of how it is? Yeah, I don't think there's anyone in the locker room that's like, oh wow, you know what, like, pretty, you know, that type of thing. <laughs> yeah. But I think if you think about it and like, you know, take a step back, it's like pretty interesting, like rare to see all these groups of people, guys from like different places in the world all in one place and now fighting for the same thing too, put together on a team like, what do you think is the most interesting thing you've learned from another one of the players? It could be about soccer or about culture. Yeah. Um, I think I'm learning from the older guys about like professionalism. I mean, I'm not a rookie myself. I've been in the league for a few years too, but I'm learning a lot from the older guys just in terms of uh, how you approach training, how you like do what you have to do to either improve or take care of your body, like that type of stuff. And um, yeah, like JJ is someone you can learn a lot from too. And I've learned a lot just from observing him. Like it's not always me asking him, hey, what would you do in this situation? But it's like watching what he does, listening to him. Like he takes it very serious and like as you should, you know, at this pedigree and like this level. But uh, yeah, he's someone for sure where like you could just kind of watch his actions and be like, yeah, you know, you could take something from it. Off the field, what are some of your interests or passions? Uh, I like to read a decent amount. I chill a lot like <laughs> I'm pretty like a simple person where like I train and I feel good about training come home eat good like I cook a decent amount but my meals aren't anything special to be fair so don't ask me about that <laughs> but I eat good food and um, feed my body I, I really like fitness and like exercise science type things and what I could do to improve my body and yeah and just chilling reading yeah I'm a very kind of relaxed person I would say we would like to make you, the community, a big part of this show as well by sharing your social media posts from the matches and the hoopla before and after the matches. The Fresno Football Club Match Day pregame show will be right back after these short messages. Welcome back to the Fresno Football Club Match Day pregame show. This program is sponsored by Tioga Sequoia Brewing Company. Okay, time to meet another one of the Foxes, joined by defender Beto Navarro, who grew up in Delano. Yes, that's right. Who are, what are your earliest soccer memories oh, in Delano? Oh man, those go as far back as four years old, probably four years old growing up. Um, just stuck to the TV with my uncles, my dad, they're big time Liga MX fans, Mexican League. So I just remember the passion they had for it, and I was right there with them watching the whole thing. And f as far up to maybe 10 years old is all I watched, just Mexican League soccer, played Mexican League growing up. AYSO at four years old. Uh, my dad at one point was our coach as well. So big family, soccer and family are, are big with me, so. Was there a point where you can remember um, either realizing that you had a talent or other people telling you? Probably around that age, around 10 years old, when, when my dad decided that he wanted to have an influence on, on my game. Uh, we went pretty far into, into State Cup and National Cup with that, that team that we had, the club team in Delano. It was called Delano Aztecs. 
So obviously we were playing better competition, club teams around the area, and I remember coaches would notice and ask my dad about me a little bit. So I, a little soon after that is when I started taking it a lot more serious, and I started obviously thinking of the possibility of maybe one day realizing my dream, which was to play professionally. So, What is it like being kind of a hometown guy, pretty close to that, yeah. and being on the, the first incarnation of a professional team? Yeah. No, I'm, I'm, I honestly, I feel privileged to be a part of this team, and it's an honor, obviously, to be part of an inaugural team, and let alone Fresno, which, like I said, is it's a, the biggest city in the Central Valley, and, and to me that means a lot. It means a lot to represent the cities here, the communities here, the towns. Obviously, the Central Valley runs as far as probably Arvin, I'm assuming. You know, it's maybe a little further, and it comes all the way up north a little bit, so... I'm glad to be here, man. It, it, I know this, the Central Valley is all about humility, hardworking people, and we want to demonstrate that on the field as well. Off the field, what would be a passion or a secret talent of yours? Yeah. Well, <laughs> I don't have many, but um, I like to dance a lot. I do like to dance a lot. Growing up, that was another thing that we were pretty, we were pretty big on dancing as a kid, family parties. Uh, so I, I like to dance a lot of cumbias, um, bachata even. I like to dance... Um, Rancheras, uh, I mean, you name it, man. All, all, as long as it's Latin stuff, I can get by with some hip hop and stuff. But what would be a country that you want to visit? Country that I'd like to visit. Um, obviously, I, I go to Mexico pretty often, so I can't pick that one now. I have to. I've always wanted to go to Europe. I, I've always wanted to visit um, Spain. I think, obviously, I think Barcelona would be a great place to go. Maybe go and, and experience a Clásico. Maybe Barcelona, Real Madrid would be awesome. So I'd, I'd have to say Spain. Who do you think is the most interesting player on your, on your team, one of your teammates? Mm. We, got, we got a few, man. We got some, some characters. But um, I've, I've been talking a lot to Alex Cooper, who's actually a guy who just scored recently for us. Um, he's a really interesting guy. Obviously, he grew up in a, in a great environment. You know, he grew up playing for Liverpool Academy, and he grew up through their youth system. The guy, he's, I want to say he's Scottish, obviously, but this guy can speak as fluent Spanish as he can. So I've been going back and forth with him, speaking a little Spanish to him. Um, another one I'd throw out there is obviously Milton Blanco. He's a hometown hero, I like to call him. But this guy's just, he's an energizer bunny in the locker room. And everybody just feeds off his positivity, his humor. He's a great guy to have around as well. We're making a movie about you. Okay. What actor is going to play you in a movie about your life? I always like to say that me and Brad Pitt have a lot of similarities. I'm <laughs> just kidding. No, I'd have to say... Probably Antonio Banderas. I've gotten, I've gotten a lot of that. They say I look like him. Actually, one of my favorite movies was Desperado with Antonio Banderas and Salma Hayek. So I'm going to say Antonio Banderas would do a pretty good job. He'd be a good Beto Navarro, I think. <laughs> What's the best advice you've ever received? Best advice, best advice. My dad, obviously. My dad has always, has always been a big influence in my game and growing up and just who, who I've been as a person. And he's always told me, you know, don't ever lose sight of who you are, obviously, you know. Remember who's been there from day one, and that's something he's really big on. He reminds me to call people, the people that have been there for me from dating as far back as playing Mexican League when I was a kid. You know, and the great thing now is I'm so close that I can have all these people coming to my games, and he just doesn't want me to obviously lose sight of who I am, and I don't think I ever have, honestly. I, I'm, I try to be as, as thoughtful and as humble as I can, to be honest. So I take that advice to heart. Reminder, we want to make your fandom of Fresno FC a part of this show. We're searching social media for those hashtags. Somos Zoros, Built for Fresno, and We Are Foxes. The Fresno Football Club Match Day pregame show. We'll be right back after these short messages. Welcome back to the Fresno Football Club Match Day pregame show. This program is sponsored by Tioga Sequoia Brewing Company. Western Conference standings, top three remains unchanged with tonight's opponent, Real Monarchs SLC, on top and coming off a 10-day rest. Notice Colorado Springs switchback still in eighth at 23 points, 
Had Fresno FC beaten them Saturday, the Foxes would be in eighth in playoff position with 22 points. Instead, in 11th, four points back. After tonight's game on this TV 26.2, next four on CW59. First, another Highway 99 Derby at Chukchansi Park on Saturday. Los Zorros then on the road at Portland Timbers 2. Back at home against the number two team in the West, Phoenix Rising FC, and about a month from now at OKC Energy FC, which is the only team of these five below the Foxes in the standings. And that is our show tonight. Thanks for watching and enjoy tonight's game. Foxes looking to do what no USL team has done this year, beat Real Monarchs SLC in Utah. In fact, only one visiting squad has even managed a draw. Have I ever told you the legend of Los Zorros? It is a legend, not of size or strength, of fury or fire, but one of speed, cunning, and of sheer will. Born to thrive, fearless in battle, always quicker, always smarter, always winning. So tell me, do you have what it takes to become 